What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on inside of Blender that allows you to quickly save your different views so that you can go back to them without having to navigate back to them over and over again. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one thing that's been a little bit frustrating for me as we've been working on our apartment model is a lot of the time you need to get a view inside of your building. So something like this right here, and then you'll navigate away for some reason, and then you have to like struggle to get back to it. And uh, it can just be a little bit time consuming. Now you could add some different cameras in here, but there's a quicker way to do this using an add-on that's already built into Blender. And so what we wanna do is we wanna go up to Edit, Preferences, and you wanna look for the option for 3D View, stored views. And so when you do that, you can navigate down here. There's a button down here where you can access some documentation on this um, in the Blender documentation. But basically what this is gonna do is now, if you tap the N key and go into your view um, tab right here, and then go down to stored views, there's an option in here to initialize. And so when you initialize, what this is gonna do is this is gonna initialize stored views inside of your model. And so now you can use this in order to both save viewports as well as you can also use this to create new cameras. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our view setting right here. And so we're gonna navigate to the view that we want. So say right here, we want a view where we can look at these cabinets. Um, navigate to the view that you want and then click on the button for save current. And so when you click on the button for save current, what that's gonna do is that's gonna save a view in here. It's gonna save your camera location and orientation so that you can navigate back to this quickly. And you can rename these. So for example, kitchen like this. Now, if I navigate away from this view, and then I click on this little box right here, it's gonna take me back to that camera view that we had in here before. And so let's say that we wanted to update this view, right? So we have it in here, um, and let's say we wanted this view to be rotated over here. You can click on this button, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna update your camera location associated with this view. So you can see how I can fly around anywhere and then click on this kitchen button right here, and it's gonna take me back to the kitchen. So let's say we wanted to create another view inside of this bedroom. So we've got a bedroom right here, kind of a smaller room. We could navigate to this location right here so that we could see the room. And then we could click on save current and we could name this one bedroom. And so what this allows you to do is this allows you to jump between your different views that you've set up without having to navigate to get back to them over and over again. And so another thing that's really helpful about this is not only can you use this to save your views, you can also click on this button right here and you can add a new camera that'll align to this view. So we could take this camera and we could set it to align to this view. So now from this viewport, I was able to quickly create this camera. Note now that I have lock camera to view checked. So if I move my camera around, it is going to change this. But when you initially bring this in, it's going to set this camera up aligned to whatever that view was in here before. And so you can use this and I'm gonna turn lock camera to 3D view off and hit the zero key to get out of that view, you can use this to set up multiple different cameras. So for example, and I was messing around with my focal length, let's just update this right here, and then click on new camera to view. What that'll do is that'll create a second camera right here. So notice these cameras are showing up inside of my scene collection right here. And so let's say we didn't want this camera pointing at the cabinets that we created before. Well, we could change this. So let's say that we wanted this to look at our doors over here instead. What you could do is you can navigate to your other view, select your camera like this, and then click on the button for camera to view. And so what that's done is that's taken that camera that was in here previously pointing the other way and it's realigned it to my current view. So you can use this to both save different views you can also use this to align different cameras. 
And so one thing I have not figured out, I'm kind of going to ask you guys about this one. There's also a POV function, so a point of view function in here as well, which seems to have the same functions in here as the other view. So you can save a POV the same way you can save a view. I can't figure out how they're different. The documentation only talks a little bit about with the POV button active, you can change perspective, but it seemed like I could change things like perspective um, within the view category as well. So for any of you that know, let me know if you know the difference between the view and the POV function in here. But just remember, you can use this to quickly set up and save different views inside of Blender. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you used this add-on before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.